Oh, Liz. Oh, how are you? Welcome to Sarasa with us. Fierce cooking show. The channel is monetized now. So thank you so much. I reached the point of monetization. Don't know where the push came from. I think it's the grinder videos, which we're going to talk about grinder again today. And I'm not going to run the grinder tip for views. It's just part of my life. As a transgender woman, it's a tool for dating. And then some argue whether or not that's really a dating tool. It's really a hookup app, <laughs> you know. But for right now, that's the one that I know that can support a transgender identity. A woman like myself. A chica, a chica like, like me is dead in places. places. Other, Other girls. girls. Are liberated. Yeah, and I'm on it again right now. Almost a week. I've had some really nice encounters that were really safe, really delicious for me. And so therefore I think I should maybe like for a month or two pay for, for Grinder and see what the experience is like with a paid membership or paid experience on Grinder. Just like I wanna know now and I'm gonna know what it's like to have a paid experience on YouTube where all the 15 years of videos, if I was to calculate the hours and hours and hours of recording and editing and uploading, but it's something I've always enjoyed doing. Now, the reason why I got back on Grindr, I got back on almost a week ago. I went out last weekend and I went out to a club down the street. Actually, there's two queer clubs down the street from where I live. I got dressed really nice. It was the first time that I went out dancing in lingerie. And it was lovely to be out. A few men approached me, but one man, while I was dancing, came up to me and started dancing with me. It was really, really, really cute. You know, kind of like uh, the Whitney Houston like thing. I want to dance with somebody. I want to feel the heat with somebody. Yeah, I want to dance with somebody, with somebody who'll love me though I don't have my nails done. I want to groove with somebody, I want to feel the heat with somebody. If he's cute, I let him touch my body <laughs> with somebody who loves me. I could tell in his face he was happy. And he, he just came with this big smile and wanted to dance like this. It was so cute, you know? He asks me my name, he introduces himself, where he's from. And then he, he started hugging me and we would dance. Oh my God, I, what a hug. I haven't gotten hugs like that in a really long time. It, it felt like I was in touch with that. And that's kind of sad, actually, that with the sexual encounters I've had through Grinder, there was never a hug like that. Right? So really, really interesting to, to feel that, engage that. However, okay, we kept dancing and stuff like that. And he was really, really close. So I'm feeling he's getting a little excited. It's fine. And I was getting excited too. He could feel that I'm excited. He asked me if I was gay or straight. I said, well, I date men. <laughs> that was my reply. And then he asked if I was trans. And I said, yes, that I am trans. And that's when he pulled away and got lost in the darkness of the crowd of the club. And that was fine. I, I you know, I got it. I think he wiped his mouth. <laughs> I think he was looking for a bottle of alcohol or a wet one to wipe his face down because he was nibbling on my neck too, which was really cute. And I let him. It's like big deal. He's not feeling me up, but the hugs were so beautiful. I really felt so good with that. And so when that happened, it just reminded me. Well, it's um, how can I say this properly? that um, many times I get, like I've said probably on the video before, that I, I get clocked for uh, cisgender. Um, could I say that that's stealth status? And is that actually considered status when you're stealth? If you could be stealth, if I am stealth, and I think stealth is in the eyes of the beholder, I don't want to equate stealth to beauty, like beauty is in the eye of the beholder. He did not perceive me initially as a trans woman. 
And I think that's so shocking because uh, I really think like there's still like bumps, razor bumps and stuff, even in the best closest shave. And maybe that's just part of my gender dysphoria and body dysphoria. But it's often that that happens that I meet a man and it goes so well. There's some really nice cisgender men out there. Really, really, really nice. A lot of them have come up with some really nice approaches. I want to say really good lines, really sweet really sweet until it's revealed that I am transgender. And so that was upsetting, uh, disappointing more is the word. I took it better than usually because it's not the first time. And so that prompted me to get back on Grindr on the app because whoever comes knocking on my door that wants to get to talk to me and get to know me on Grindr, they know that I am a transgender woman. So that's how that goes. And I think that works really well. <laughs> and I really like it. Um, so, but lately, this last week, I've been getting some really good leads. And these, you know, on my grinder thing, I have it that I really like men with real shapely buttocks and really thick thighs. And so men lately have been responding. And then they'll send a picture of their shapely buttocks. And they're beautiful. So yeah, they've been sending me these images and stuff. And I'm like, oh my God, I think these men are C teasing me. <laughs> Cause you know, I still, I still have the C, uh, the factory installed port. And I'm like, oh my God, that's so unfair. It's like, I guess they're just, they're getting off on arousing me and then, then exiting and shutting the door out and, and leaving. And I, I'm getting really tired of that. <laughs> I don't like that. I think that's really tacky. I'm not really fond of that, to be honest. Right now, as I record this, it's Friday and I'm ready to like get off grinder again because I feel like, oh my God, nothing is materializing, you know? And I could understand that for a lot of men, their perceptions of a trans woman is limited and possibly negative. And I think for some men, they may think that as a transgender woman that I'm like hustling. Like I'm right now fully self-supporting through my own contributions on retirement. I mean, I could, I could use more money, which is why I'm so happy the channel here on YouTube is monetized. And I have thought about being an only girls, only fans girl. Yeah. Some of the men have been like, Oh, how do you get to live in by yourself? alone. <laughs> well, I cut a good deal on this apartment. I negotiated and they gave me the rate that I asked for. So I got it. And I feel I needed to explain that. So yeah, I think the guys just like I'm afraid of maybe a man that might be unsafe once he comes through the door. Maybe they're afraid that I would be unsafe to them if they come through the door that I got some sort of agendas. So who knows, right? So what is the topic of this video? The topic of this video is that I'm back on Grindr and the men are messing with my mind. <laughs> They're messing with my head, literally. <laughs> They're like, look at this, Ryan. You like this? You like these, uh, these, uh, this bubble butt, the shapely butt that you seem to like? Oh, you like these thighs, Ryan? Dangling the carrot. And I'm like, eh. <laughs> I think that's so unfair and I'm an old woman. Don't mess with me like that. Don't mess with me like that. My clock is ticking. I got to get mine or right? I'm trying to get it like in a healthy way. I'm trying to do my sensuality, sexuality, sexual needs being met in a healthy, sober way. I'm doing the best I can. And I'm like, I'm starving right now and so sexually anorexic. It's not fair that a woman who's worked this hard to be healthy, sober, and attractive should be struggling like this. It's not fair. <laughs> I don't want to have to go out and buy it. I don't want to do a Boney M love for sale. Come on now. <sighs> so anyway, let me do this. You know how it goes. You know the protocols. Look how pretty that palm tree is. Look how pretty this is. Da, 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 da. Now, as I do this, the episode is no longer monetized, right? <laughs> Once I start shaking them. Once I start shaking these and going like this, 
No monetization. Limited monetization, Soraya. <laughs> you shook him again. You did like this again. No. <laughs> hey, that's the way it goes. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Anyway, y'all, I'm saying that this video is looking a little weird, but colorful. The way I feel right now, the way I feel being monetized, the way I feel colorful coming to you all again. And this really cool outfit, one of my first outfits that, well, yeah, she was one of my first outfits. Yeah, she's so cute, isn't she? I love her. Look at the back. She's so cool. You can't wear a bra with her though, but this is who I am. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for sharing the space with me. Thank you for giving me your time. Sorry about the glare. It is what it is, darling. It's not the quality, it's the quantity. No, <laughs> it is the quality too, but hey, you know what I'm saying, right? Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like, like, like. Please continue to support my channel. And you take very, very good care of yourself. Soraya's giving you a lot of love. Sending you a kiss. Mwah! And I hope you send one back to me. <gasps> I got the kiss. Thank you. Mm, put it right here. You all take care now. Bye. I'm not letting that palm go because I, I need it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take my that palm and put it someplace else <laughs> and rub it. <laughs> Bye. But I want love. Just a different kind.